Welcome back, everyone. We were right in the middle of that problem that we were dealing with Hasha. Hasha, are you with us still? Okay, we're just getting Hasha on the line. Uh, remember what we've got. We've got a... Hasha, how are you doing? I'm understanding it now. Are you understanding? Okay, yes. so let's set up the equation. We're going to use this equation, and we're going to set it up for the lift first of all. Okay, so okay. we're going to substitute into here. So we know that delta x is 28 minus h, and then what was the initial velocity of the lift? It was 10 meters per second. Yeah, correct. And we don't know the time. Do you agree? No. Yep. Uh, plus half, what was the acceleration? It will be zero. That's right, because it was constant velocity. Remember, whenever you've got constant velocity, acceleration is zero. But also remember, you must substitute that into the equation. So we do it like that. Okay? Are okay. you with me so far? Yep. So that gives us 28 minus h is equal to 10 delta t plus 0. Okay? Which means that I've got an equation with two unknowns. I've got an h and a delta t. I want to find delta t. So you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to just change this equation and make it an equation in h. Is that okay? Yes. So what I'm going to say, this is 28, <coughs> excuse me, minus 10 delta t equals h. I've subtracted h from both sides, and I've subtracted 10 delta t from both sides. Okay? Now, okay. let's do the same thing for the ball. We know that the ball was 30 minus h plus 2. So let's express that. I'm going to just write this in black, change my pen color. So I'm going to say it's 30 minus h minus 2, which is equal to, now, what was the initial velocity of the ball? Go back to the diagram. The ball was going up at minus 30 meters per second. Okay. Okay. Minus yep. 30 delta t. Now this part, plus half. What was the acceleration? The acceleration is 9,8 and it's downwards. Yep. And what did we say downwards was? Positive. Positive. Okay, so we are all okay so far. We haven't made a mistake. So if we do the subtraction here, we'll get 28 minus h is equal to minus 30 delta t plus now, if we do the half, that comes to uh, 4,8, I think. Am I right? Yes. 4,8. 4,9. 4,9. 4,9. Uh, delta T squared. Thank you. Um, right. So can you see now I've got this bit here? If I substitute this equation into this equation, then I'm going to be okay because I'm going to be able to take the oh. place of H. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, back up here, 28, let's make sure that this stays still, 28 minus, now instead of H, I'm going to write the bit in blue, I'm going to write 28 minus 10 delta H, delta T, sorry, okay, and on this side, uh, that's what the H value was. And then I'll go back to my black pen and fit it in, and I'm going to say minus 30 delta T plus 4,9 delta T all squared. Happy? Yes. Okay. So now, if we do this, now this isn't the physics bit. We've done the physics bit. We're just doing the maths now. And I'll take it to a point, and let's see how, we can, how far we go. So we're going to say... 28 minus 28 plus 10 delta t is equal to minus 30 delta t plus 4,9 delta t squared. Okay? Uh, those cancel. And then what are we going to get? We're going to get minus, minus 40. Am I right? Minus 40 delta t, not squared. Sorry, 40 delta, 
Delta T. Plus 40. Uh, I could do it plus 40. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I was wanting to keep that number, that um, four, uh, four, uh, four comma nine positive. So I was I was subtracting from both sides. Uh, okay. But I, I, it doesn't matter which way we go. Um, we can make it plus 40 if you'd like. So we'll bring everything to this side. Plus 40 delta T. That delta doesn't look very nice. So I'm just going to make it a little clearer. Plus 40 delta T. And then this is going to be minus 4,9 delta T all squared. And what's that equal to? Equals? Zero. Do you, do yeah. you, do you agree? Yeah. So now what we've got um, is we've got this thing to factorize. So I guess we can say delta T is equal to 40 minus 4,9 delta T. And it's just equals zero. So delta T equals zero. Or what can we say? So delta, delta T equals zero. Or we've got 40 minus 4,9 delta T equals zero. Um, so I guess that means that delta T uh, is equal to 40 divided by 4,9, which if we use the calculator very quickly, we're going to get 40 divided by 4,9 which equals an answer of 8,16 seconds. 8,16, rounded off to t two decimal places. 8,16 seconds. Okay. Okay. Have you got it? Yes. Okay, very good. Remember when you get these simultaneous equations, sometimes they come up terribly, and you might have to use the quadratic equation. My suggestion to you in an exam is if it comes up to one of those unfactorizable uh, trinomials, just put down the quadratic equation, do the substitution, don't waste any more time trying to get the final solution. Uh, you get, you'll only lose a mark at the most for not getting the final answer. Okay.